welcome back to another news episode here on the Britpop Buzz YouTube channel. You know and I know it's the only place on YouTube where you can find all the latest news of any Britpop or 90s indie that's going on. Now I just want to give a shout out and say thank you to the Patreon YY2 Y not YY Y Y T Y 2 D U 9 Q for becoming a Patreon member and showing their support for the channel. I really appreciate it. And if you would like to show your support, then please head on over to Patreon through the link from as little as one pound. You can become a Patreon member and I'll give you a shout out on the channel. Now, let's go on to this month's mint news. First of all, Echo Belly have announced on Twitter over the past month that they have some new products coming to their online store and also there is some Echo Belly activity going on behind the scenes because they've said in the tweet that they are, there's something going on. Now this could be anything. It could just be an interview coming up, it could be going on tour for a few dates or it could be some new music. I'm not sure what it is but when I do know, I'll let you know. Hopefully it'll be on the next news video but... Just putting that out there, Echo Belly are up to stuff. If you don't know who Echo Belly are, you're not really a Britpop fan. It's Sonia Madden at the front, you've got King of the Curb, they're there. Now this next one is a bit of suede and it's a few months old, it's a couple of months old but I've wanted to bring it up anyway. Suede have updated their profile picture on Facebook and it is one of, it is one of means either one of two things. There is a new album on the way or it's possible they are gearing up for the 30th anniversary of The Drowners. That is 30 years old soon. And this new profile picture, it is the right colours to be that. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think there's new music on the way or they're celebrating an anniversary? Put, let me know in the comments below. Now, up next, I just wanted to say that if you are like me and you subscribe to Speakeasy Fanzine, then you are going to already know, but they have announced their dates for their up next coming festival. Their last one was at the beginning of December last year. I couldn't manage to get to that, but this next one is on the 17th and 18th of September. It's the Saturday and the Sunday. Now, if it's anything like last year's, this year's, I'm hoping it's going to be just as good. Last year, they had The Kind, they had The Real People, Sleeper, e not Echo Belly, My Life Story run there had space on so I hope they get some really good people in this year I'd really want to get down there for the two full days show my support to them if you've not bought any of their fanzines it's like one pound to one pound fifty I can't remember the exact price but go to their website check it out they've still got old issue back issues on sale you're really missing a good publication there get on it so yep I'm really excited to see that and I hope that they release the lineup for next month well, as of this, following on from last month's news, or it might have been the month before, but the book Britpop Decades by Peter Adams, it was supposed to be released already by now, but it has been pushed back a few weeks, and it should be being released in the next couple of days. If it's not out of me putting this video out, it should be out in the next couple of days. And from the little sneak preview I have had a read of, I have already had a little peek at some of the book. It is definitely worth your money going out and buying it. It's definitely worth adding to your collection. So, yep, yeah, it's by Peter Richard Adams and it is going to be the 100th book published by Sonic Band Bond Publishing. So, it's def pick up a physical version or go get a Kindle version, whichever you buy your books for. Now, we all know who Jarvis Cocker of Pulp is, don't we? We do. He's one of the biggest 90s icons out there. Pop cult UK pop culture icon. Well, he is going to be live in conversation to celebrate the publication of his new book that is called Good Pop, Bad Pop. And in this, he's going to be discussing his unique life, the good times, the bad times, through what he's found in his attic when he's gone up to have a look around and what he's brought down. Now, this is going to be a unique opportunity to see and hear the pulp frontman in person talk about his life. Now, the dates are on screen for you to see right now, and you can purchase tickets through his Instagram account, but I'll put a link to it down below anyway. Now, the book is due to be released on the 26th of the 5th, 2022, 
and it is already available to pre-order through all good bookstores. But if you are not interested in a physical version, you're quite happy to have it on your Kindle, it is already reduced to 9 99 If you happen to just have it on your phone or tablet or whichever way you do your reading, it's only 9 99 So you can already go out and pre-order that now for a cheaper price. Right, John Harris. Do you all know who John Harris is? He's the famous journalist from the 90s. He worked in all the big major publications, a Melody Maker, NME, Select, during the big peak Britbot times across the whole 90s. Well, he has been on the big album podcast show where he's this past month talking about Blur's self-titled album and Blur and Britbop in general. Now, I have, I have already listened to this podcast and it's a great discussion. It gets a bit in depth of certain songs on the self-titled album. It's really interesting. John Harris is so knowledgeable about what went on in the 90s and his opinions on certain bands and what the music was like. So yeah, it's definitely worth your listen and definitely giving up your time for. John Harris also wrote the book, The Last Party, Britpop Blair and the Demise of English Rock. That is also worth giving up your time to have a read of. That's really good. So yeah, it's on Spotify. I've put a Spotify link down below, but it is also available on other social platforms. Up next, I've got another book launch coming up. Not myself, sorry. This is another book being launched, and that is by Jane Savage, who is the author of the book Lunch with the Wild Frontiers, is releasing her second book. They come up with they come with their makeup on suede coming up. Well, she's been on the Indie Alternative podcast discussing her new book coming out this year, and she's it's a great little discussion about suede, her new book, and it's really good. Jane Savage was the co-founder of the and head of public relations of Savage and Best in the 90s, and she's a big, big suede fan. Now, are you a fan of the early 90s indie band Power of Dreams? If you are, then you are in luck because they are back together, and they are releasing new music through Bandcamp. They are taking pre-sale orders for their new 7-track EP called Baby Boy Right Now. Not Baby Boy Right Now, it's called Baby Boy. Now, Go, if you're a fan of Power of Dreams, go and check that out. Their second album is also available on Bandcamp digitally for the first time, so that's on there. But there is also a documentary out on the web hosted by Dan Hegarty, and this is an in-depth look and discussion about Power of Dreams' debut album, Immigrants, Emigrants and Me. Now, I have not listened to it yet, but from what I've researched about it, it is a deep-dive documentary about this album, and it has includes interviews with band members, people who were involved in the making of the album and fans of the impact that the album had on them growing up as they were listening to The Power of Dreams. Now this is on SoundCloud, you can go check that out. Going on from that, I just want to say if you missed me on the Britpop show with Lee Moore, you can find it on Mixcloud and just put in the search bar the Brit Pop show, but Brit Pop needs to be two separate words, so it needs to be Brit and then Pop, and it needs to be followed by the date 17th of the 2nd, 2022. I'm on there talking with Lee Moore about Brit Pop and 90s music, and he also plays a couple of my favourite songs on there. I just want to say thank you again to Lee for having me on the show. It's a great pleasure. I hope we can chat again sometime. So, as always, thank you for watching and please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. That is all I've got for this month. Hopefully I'll have some more in a month's time. Thank you for watching.